No cat holes. <laughs> Too late. When first asked to say something about my friend of almost 40 years, with whom I worked with on numerous Navy League projects, I immediately said yes. Then the hard part. How do you talk about a man who was involved in so many worthwhile projects? First encounter with Mr. Ian was in 78, 79, when an article in a newspaper appeared trying to raise funds to raise the aircraft carrier USS Intrepid. As a former crew member, I was very interested and contacted the person involved, who happened to be Mr. Ian. Was invited to a meeting held in a local bank at night on Long Island and met without what turned out to be the original company trying to save it, which was Odyssey's in flight. This was invited to a luncheon after, hosted by Mr. Ian in the East Meadows near where his office was located at Lufthansa. Thus began a relationship that lasted all those years on Intrepid and Navy League projects. A key day that helped save the ship was the day that Dick Shortway, who was then editor and CEO of Vogue magazine, hosted a power breakfast, attended by wealthy and influential businessmen to raise interest in funds to bring Intrepid to New York. At the breakfast was a quiet, shy businessman wearing a suit and a New York Yankee baseball cap. Oh boy. <laughs> Mr. Ian befriended this man and told him what we were trying to do. A day later, this man called Mr. Ian at home and told him that he was interested. Within the first week, he sent a check for $25,000 for publicity to get things started. By the way, the name, this man's name was Zachary Fisher. After three years of hard work, Intrepid opened in August of 82, and Ms. Dean became the first president from 82 to 84. The museum bought him a car. It was a, Jim only wanted a small four-door Oldsmobile Cutlass. He was an unpretentious man. To give you an idea, I know I saw that car 20 years later, so he kept it. To look, to launch, the, to launch the fundraising drive, the U.S. Customs House was chosen as an ideal site. Mr. Ed Coyne was in charge of the Customs House at the time, and he approved the usage for a nonprofit organization. By coincidence, Ed Coyne was a former crew member who not only served on the ship in World War II, but he was also a plank owner. Mr. Ian loved his family, and they loved him. During the course of the of, uh, during the course of the years, I spoke with his daughters many times, but never met them until the funeral. <laughs> Another project that Jim Ian was involved in was saving the John Brown. He was heavily involved in that. That was a ship that was sitting here on the West Side, being used by New York City high school students for years, and he was involved in that. Well, today the John Brown sits in Baltimore, Maryland as a museum and a ship, and it's still active today. James Ian was a true friend, and I'm proud to be considered one of his. Jim Ian was a World War II pilot who flew in the Pacific. Although he never took off and landed from an, on Intrepid, his carrier operated with our task group. After the war, Jim Ian joined the Civil Aeronautics Board, which later became the FAA and advanced through the ranks. After leaving the FAA, he joined Lufthansa in their headquarters in East Meadows. When the World War II aircraft Avenger came to Intrepid, Jim, Ian, Jim was instrumental in getting then Vice President George Bush to de dedicate the aircraft to the museum. Bush was a World War II pilot who flew Avengers and was shot down in an Avenger picked up by a, uh, a submarine, the Finback, which saved his life. In closing, I want to end in what I believe he would have really loved, the Navy hymn Eternal Father. I don't know if you know it or not, but uh, he was in the Navy chorus or something when, uh, he, you know, when he was in the, when he was in the Navy. So, 
the third stanza uh, is for airmen. Lord God and guide the men who fly through the great spaces in the sky. Be with <coughs> them always in the air, in darkening storms or sunlight fair. Oh, hear us when we lift our prayer for those in peril in the air. God bless James Ian and his wonderful family. J.G. United States Navy departing. Two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 